Welcome back to my channel here is your stimulus check update, stimulus package update, and news report for and I saw that many of you have received your stimulus payments. Congratulations to all of you who have received the third stimulus checks. But, I have also read many comments from people who still have not received the third stimulus check in their bank account. So please stay until the end of this video so you can hear about the latest stimulus news as well as the new direct deposit date details for the 1,400 checks President Joe Biden is turning to the next items on his legislative agenda Biden is starting to lay the groundwork for raising taxes on wealthier Americans to pay for them. During an interview with ABC News on Wednesday, President Biden doubled down on vows he made as a candidate saying that those earning more than 400,000 will see a small to significant tax increase. However, Joe Biden pledged that those under that threshold won't see one single penny in additional federal tax, and he is already working to make permanent several major temporary tax breaks for low-income and middle-class Americans. These include expansions of the child tax credit and earned income tax credit, as well as more generous Affordable Care Act premium subsidies. Much of Biden's plan rests on reversing the Republicans' 2017 tax cuts, which were more heavily weighted to those at the upper end of the income ladder, though many key provisions will expire after 2025. During a press conference, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said President Joe Biden believes that those at the top are not doing their part, and, obviously that corporations could be paying higher taxes. The president has has not issued a formal tax proposal since taking office, though it's expected he will unveil measures soon to help fund his plans for infrastructure, clean energy and other recovery efforts. Last year, President Biden released a plan that would increase federal revenues by $2.1 trillion over a decade. More progressive lawmakers, including Senators Elizabeth Warren of Massachusetts and Bernie Sanders of Vermont are refloating the wealth tax that they proposed in their recent Democratic campaigns. What are your thoughts on this everyone? Leave them in the comments below an analysis of Biden's campaign proposals by the Tax Policy Center show that families earning less than $400,000 a year won't see a direct increase in federal taxes. In fact, middle-income households could see an average tax cut of $680 and low-income households could see their tax bills fall by $760 for 2022, the center found. Now, those who receive federal aid through supplemental security income or social security disability insurance can expect to receive the third stimulus payment in the same way as their regular benefits. However, a payment date has yet to be announced by the IRS. On March 12, the IRS stated, Social Security and other federal beneficiaries will generally receive this third payment the same way as their regular benefits. A payment date for this group will be announced shortly. The U.S. Bureau of the Fiscal Service explains, federal benefit payments, such as Social Security, Supplemental Security Income and Veterans, are required to receive your payment electronically. You must either have the money deposited directly to a bank or credit union account or get your money each month on a Direct Express prepaid debit card. The Social Security Administration stated on March 12, the IRS is reviewing the tax provisions of the American Rescue Plan Act of 2021, signed into law on March 11, 2021. We will add helpful QAs to this page soon, like we did for each of the first two rounds of EIPs. A spokesperson for the National Automated Clearinghouse Association recently said, Unfortunately, it appears we don't know enough yet about the third stimulus payment date for SSI, SSDI recipients. The only information we were given is that SSA rules require that legislation be passed before they can work to find eligibility and payment information. The IRS has pushed back the tax filing deadline by a month to Monday, May 17 instead of Thursday, April 15. The agency is working hard to send out stimulus checks as quickly as possible during tax season but, you still need to file state taxes by April 15, the extended deadline is only for federal income taxes. 
It doesn't affect a state's income tax deadline. That is the end of the video everyone I hope you found this video helpful.